Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you the chunking playground that I have created for all of you. Previous to this video, I have created two more playgrounds. One was agent memory playground where we explained, I think, more than uh, 10 agentic memory uh, techniques. After that, I created a re-ranking playground where we explained more than five re-ranking techniques. Now I have created this chunking playground that you see on my screen where we're going to explore 20 plus text chunking techniques to build better rag system. So if, you know, most of the people is building rag actually because their bosses, their directors, the, the company's owner, the leaders are enterprises. They are all saying build rag actually because we have so much of documents. The rag is the only solution that they can think of. So and they're not getting success. Most of them because rag has fundamental problem. You understand rag has nothing to do with LLM hallucination. The hallucination happens. Uh, that is fine because it might not getting the right retrieved document. The problem is starting from the fundamentals of the way we do chunking and how do we rely on retrieval algorithms because those are all distance based algorithms. And that's where the problem is uh, because nowadays LLMs are really crazy, right? So we're going to talk about chunking. Chunking is the initial step. I think first few steps in this rag, uh, you know, pipeline. Okay, and uh, chunking where we basically chunk out the you know uh, text corpus that we have, right? And we're gonna talk about these chunking techniques. The reason I create playground because in today's world people don't have time to go and you know uh, read all the, each line of code and run it and set it up. That's so why I create playground with presets, examples, and some expl explainer so you can just learn it on the go, interact with it just like a co-pilot. So if you look at here on my screen. It says select chunking technique. So we, I have categorized this into three categories, basic, advanced and AI powered chunking. Okay. And in this input text, we have custom where you can put your own text. Like let's say you can copy paste it. And then we have technical article, business report, code documentation and mixed content. Okay. So this is what it is here in the input text. And the techniques can be found here. You can see naive chunking, fixed size chunking, sliding window chunking, sentence based chunking, paragraph based chunking, page based chunking, so on and so forth. And I'm going to explain that each and everything in detail. Okay, I'll show you the code also, how I've written it. And this will be completely available on my GitHub repository, uh, you know, under the Agentic AI toolkit. Now, if you look at here, okay, it says created by, of course, these are fine. Okay, I'll just show you in the left hand side. You can go through it later also created by Sono, AI, Anytime, YouTube channel, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Now, what, what happens? It also explains you when to use different use cases because you cannot use this, uh, all this chunking for generic use cases. They are very specific. Okay. Like, let's say you want to use table aware chunking, then you should have tabular data. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense, right? So this is how it has been defined also. So let's first write out naive chunking chunker. So let's say I select technical article. The moment I select technical article, you can see this markdown thingy has been fed because LLMs understand markdown better because when you work with Gen AI systems, mostly we deal with the markdown data. Okay. And that doesn't the that's not the primary thing. Okay, we can just uh, ignore that. Now the other thing is here, let's say I want to apply naive chunker on this text to chunk. Okay, look at the use cases, no documents with structured line content, because what it does, it segments text by line break. The moment it finds a line break slash n, it will chunk that line. Okay, basically. Okay, so let's try it out and see. So when I click on process text, the moment I do process text, you can see it says text processed successfully, chunking results, it gives you 10 total chunks, 81 average chunk size. And it gives you this processing time and this total characters actually. Okay. And if you come down, it gives you this individual individual chunks. You can see line break, it chunked it. You see the line break, it chunked it. Okay. So wherever it finds a line break, now it chunks it actually. That's the thing. Okay. So that's called naive chunker. So naive chunker is fine. Okay. Then we have, let's say a sentence based or a paragraph based. So if you want to go into paragraph based, you can see max paragraphs as a parameter also comes up. And when you can click on that, it shows now we have four total chunks because it we only have set max paragraphs per chunk is two. So it can only do it like that. 
you can say this is how it has done it okay so you also get this uh, individual chunks you get these graphs you can get average chunk size some of the chunking results etc you also get it okay now because these are all uh, presets you can also bring your custom so we have in the basic we have knife fix size sliding window sentence based page based and paragraph based in advance if you look at let's look at the table aware actually table aware let's select mixed content okay now table aware is very important so it says specifically processes table structure maintaining data relationships that's the description use cases where it says documents containing tabular data spreadsheet contents and csv files financial reports with tables data heavy technical documentation so on and so forth right oh that's interesting actually now when i click on process text you can find out you get good results actually if you look at this chunk for 190 characters how beautiful it has chunked actually right so this this is table aware chunker so we are using that keep that in mind because these are very important to build uh, you know when you are building agentic rag or rag or search system whatever is you have to be very you know attentive about selecting the right chunking techniques or you can probably combine multiple chunking techniques based on documents now we also have like topic based you know we have content aware content aware is also there so let's say if i select what do i say business report the good thing i like it creates list actually if you see this it automatically chunks the list like it finds out from here that it has list key performance indicators and this one it's it basically creates this list here there you see so this content so these are called advanced in advanced we also have eight uh, techniques here in basics you can find out we have six here in ai powered we also have around eight here we have recursive contextual semantic semantics are all like transformer based and all of those things you can find out i'll give you a quick walk through basically of the uh, code so you can understand actually so if you look at here this is how it looks like advanced techniques ai power techniques and basic techniques so if you look at the basic techniques on the basic techniques i have created in a modular format now why i have created this entire project in modular format because when i am in building rag I can just use those classes as a module, you know, in my rag pipeline. I don't have to rely on like, you know, again in thinking about how do I couple this with my code and so on and so forth. So it's not a tightly coupled kind of a thing. It's very loose in architecture because you know they're all modules. I can just import it and use it. So you can see class knife chunker. You know, we have fixed size chunkers. Uh, we have uh, you know, sliding window chunker, etc. Before that, I want to show you base chunker. Actually, this is the base chunker. You can see it's an basically it's abstract base class for all chunking techniques. I uh, you know it helps you with finding you know info, name, description, etc. Now let's go back. Go back. So this is basic is fine. I think basic you probably understand sentence, page, paragraphs. In advance, you can find out a few things here. We have struct structured chunker structured chunking based on markup elements okay that's very interesting okay segments document based on structure features like html tags json's or log okay that's great and because when you have program and code and all right you, you cannot rely on like knife chunking or basic way of chunking you have to follow chunks chunking techniques that basically suits that actually you can see entity based chunker where you can define some entities like let's say person or geography product so this is how I've defined it. Okay, very well commented. Table aware, I've already shown you. Content aware. Now AI powered. In the AI powered, you see we have contextual chunker. You know, context with relying on context. Uh, semantic chunker, very interesting. Okay, that's based on threshold values. Again, based on distance-based algorithms like cosine, Jacquard, or Levenstein. You know, that's how we do it actually, right? So. This is what it is amazing. You can see it's very modular, the chunking techniques. And those are available in our uh, file here, app.py. We build the Streamlit app, and that's what we use it. So this is a complete project that is running locally right now. I haven't deployed it. I can probably deploy it also on Streamlit Cloud. But yeah, this chunking playground wanted to show you where you can explore 20 plus chunking techniques when you are building RAG. So it will be in your immediate co-pilot for chunking or building RAG. You can validate faster based on your data sample like you can take some data samples put it here and just try it out so that's that's what it does guys right 
let's keep this video very short. I don't want to go and explain each and every chunking techniques. You can figure it out once you have the code. So let me know uh, if there's any question, thoughts or feedbacks on that. Okay. So that's all I, uh, guys for this video. If you like this video, hit the like icon. If you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please do subscribe the channel guys. That motivates me to create more such videos in near future. Before I wrap up this, I want to show you this agentic AI toolkit that I have been creating, you know, for or I've been building it for last few months. You know, it's a combination of five different modules. You get 100 plus N10 workflow templates updated every week. So that will keep on expanding. You will get three months learning roadmap, how to learn AI agent, you know, in a good way, in a better up, better way. How do you approach it? You get how to select use cases. So you get use case selection kit. You get success framework kit. You get governance and risk management toolkit. How to govern AI agent or agent AI based solutions. So you get all of these five modules or bundles in this agent AI toolkit. I'll give the link in description. Check it out and let me know if you want me to add something else or if you have any feedbacks on that. Right. That's all for this chunking playground video, guys. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.